Hi, Megan here. I'm going to share another tutorial with you today. Today is going to be some quick little ways to style your hair other than having just your beachy waves. So they're super simple, but to some people they might not be so simple. So this is going to be a perfect time for you to practice these styles at home since you have may not have anything else to do. So first I touched up my curls with my one inch iron. Um, I make sure that when I'm curling my hair and I want it to go away from my face, that the clip is always in the front. All the other curls in the back can alternate so you can go clip front or back just to give it more of a beachy look and have it go in different ways and so it's not just like a perfect look. So the first style that I'm going to share with you is, so this is me, I just curled it and the key to having your curls last the longest is once you are finished ironing your hair, make sure you let them cool before you brush the curls out because they'll last so much longer if you do that. So I did not even break them up yet. I'm gonna do that now. First, I'm gonna start off with my tease brush. I'm gonna go in at the crown, tease it just slightly. I don't like too much tease in my hair, but you can do whatever you prefer. Hope all of you are having a good one. I love being able to connect with y'all through social media. Okay, so the first style that I'm gonna start off with is just simply a twist pin back. So all you're gonna need is bobby pins for this one. So I'm gonna take the side and you can do this with your natural part as well. So this is where I naturally part my hair. I'm gonna take it. You wanna, you can slightly puff your hair up then pin it just to make sure that you're getting a little bit more volume. Make sure it's very secure so that it'll last you all day. Take the other side, twist it back, pin it up a little, give you a little bit of volume, pin it, and there you go. So this is one cute, easy little tutorial on like how to just pin it back. This would be cute for summertime. Also, what I think is also really cute is if you take these front sections and braid them back and then pin them as well. Just another little creative way. Another one I'm gonna share with you is I am going to do a, well, let's, there's two ways you can do this one. So this one, I'm gonna start off with keeping it with my part. So all you have to do is take like some cute little pins. Like, I think we ha also have some of these at the salon and they're super cute. So even like just some, some cute little designer clips, you can find these almost anywhere now because they're so popular. So what I like to do is also, even like sometimes I'll do one clip or sometimes I'll do like multiple clips. So these are cute little fashion clips that have, um, they're actually like little bobby pins, but have little pearls on them. So what I'll do with this one is brush my waves back out. I'll take just this side, pin it back, hold it here, take my clips, and pin back just this one side. And I'm gonna take all three. So one will usually hold, but just for a cuter effect, cuter more effect to add some bling to your hair is to go in with all three and look at that, how cute that is. And this is the look from the front. And you can always like tease your hair more, whatever you think you need to do. This would be also cute to just style um, for summer as well, or anytime really, or if you're going like on a date night, that would be super cute too. So now I'm going to show you a way to do it without using your natural part. So sometimes even just switching up your natural part can give you a whole new look. So I'm going to go with a more further part. You can go in and, and like tease it more, whatever you need to do. I can go in and tease this side a little more just to give you a little bit more volume. And then go in with, I'll go in with this one. Same thing, hold it back. And look how much of a difference just from like changing your part can give you like a whole different look almost. So I'm gonna go in with this clip and just pin it. 
And it looks so good if you just give it a little bit of volume right here and in the back. And then look at that. Super cute, easy style. Okay, another one I'm gonna share with you is going to be like a little top knot. So, you wanna put all of this front back. If you're front right here, you might wanna tease that a little bit just so it doesn't get too flat on you. And if you see any purple in my scalp, that is from my treatment that I did yesterday. My purple shampoo treatment, the color Xin Blondage from Redken. It just stained my scalp just a little bit. That's okay, it'll go away. So just gathering just the top section. I would use a little elastic for this. I don't have one on me right now, so I'll just use a ponytail. But uh, an elastic would work best for this style. So you put it on top of your head, you wanna twist it up till it's tight and secure. Then I'll go in and tighten it. And then what you can also do is grab these front pieces here and bring them forward. Just to give you a little bit more value. And if you have any other um, little hairs, like sometimes I get little hairs right here, my little baby hairs, you can always just spray those out with hairspray. So this is this look super cute and then also like i said use an elastic you could also go in and tease the sides as well um if you want to cover your elastic just take a little section from underneath you will wrap it around your pony well it would be an elastic would be best for this and it covers it up and then you would just go in with a bobby pin and then pin it underneath so i'll go ahead and do that and there you go, it hides it. And obviously an elastic will be a little smaller so it won't be as big, but it's still a super cute look. Okay, now I'm gonna share with you a top knot. So it'll be very similar to this look, but instead of doing it in a pony, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna smooth it out a little more. You can just take your tease brush and do that. This would also be a great style to do with an elastic as well, but I'm going to use my little ponytail that I have. So you're going to wrap it around. Ooh, I have a little loop-de-loop. -loop. We don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to go wrap it around once, twice. When you think it's secure enough on your last one, go ahead and bring it into a loop here. Make your loop small because you can always pull it out and make it bigger after. You wanna go ahead and fan it out. Again, to hide this, you're gonna take this section that's here in the back, you're gonna wrap it around. It's gonna be a leftover from your little bun. Wrap it around, secure it with a bobby pin. If you have layers that are, that'll start to poke out, just go ahead and just pin those down as well. Then you can go in, fan it out, mess it up, whatever you want. I'm gonna go in and secure the sides of the bun, just so it's not sticking out, just what I prefer. And there you have it, a cute little top knot where it's like not so messy, but it's still like neat and put together. See that? And then you could also go ahead again and tease the sides a little more if you want. And now I'm gonna share one more with you. So if you're wanting to do, you could even do the same thing, the same bun, but with like all of your hair up. So I'll show you how to do that as well. And that'll be my last one for today. I hope all of you guys are doing well. If you have any questions about any of these um, styling, you could always message me in the comments below. You could message me. So you just gather all of your hair, put it on top of your head, loop it, loop it, same thing as the other one, but now you just have all of your hair. Fan it up, take the leftover, wrap it around. Now with this, you're probably, if you have layers in your hair, more of those layers are gonna start to pop out, but you'll just go in and pin them down. And then I'm gonna pin this the same way I pin the other one. Pin both sides of it down. 
Now you can always make this as messy of a bun and as big as a bun that you want just by like messing with it and pulling it all out. You could pull these front pieces forward just to give you a little bit more volume at the front. Even sometimes people like if you're having trouble with your volume at the front staying with the bun, you can go in and pin it here and put a bobby pin here and it'll hold it. And then what I'll do, my dogs are barking like crazy. Let's close the door. And then you can go ahead and just pull some pieces down and then you have like a cute little messy bun. That's all I have for you today. I hope to see y'all again. Hope y'all stay safe. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>